Hello. This video is very European centric and it is quite political. So if that is not your cup of tea, there are 223 other videos you can enjoy from the past. And I will publish another Be More video tomorrow. I don't know if you followed the Nord Stream 2 discussion. In a nutshell, Russia builds a pipeline through the North Sea to Germany. This has implications. Right after this. There is an overland pipeline already. The existing overland pipeline gives the countries between Russia and Germany leverage. For example, when it comes to negotiation gas prices. If the asking price was too high in the past, the Ukraine would close the pipeline to Germany. I don't know the actual situation, but in the past the Ukraine wouldn't have to pay world market prices for their gas. For Germany, this was always very inconvenient. My country would pay the world market price and it had no influence if the Ukraine would close the pipeline or not. It is a little bit funny. The reason why Ukraine had leverage was that Germany paid the normal price, while the Ukraine wanted a steep discount. Admittedly, without that discount, many people in the Ukraine would freeze. Because they couldn't afford to pay the normal price. But then again, because of the low prices, Nobody did anything regarding efficiency. Anyway, Nord Stream 2 takes the leverage out of Ukraine's hands. The US don't like that. Because when the Ukraine gave up their old Soviet time nuclear missiles, the US guaranteed their support in case Russia would act funny against the Ukraine. I guess in the Ukraine they learned their lesson that such guarantees don't survive political markets. Especially not in the US, where lies are a presidential virtue now. But the US, of course, can't hide the shame about what happened in the East Ukraine. And so they do the logical thing and try to deny Germany its own uninterrupted gas pipeline. However, this is only a pretended interest. As always, it is all about economic interests. The Americans want to sell their expensive liquid gas, which they extract by uncompromising envi environmental destruction. The Russians are in the way, so their pipeline has to die. The US has imposed sanctions on any company that helps in any way with the pipeline. These sanctions, of course, are a violation of the sovereignty of the European Union. I get it. The pipeline is against US interests. But those kind of American antics really rub me in the wrong way. I also don't like that the EU just accept it like they couldn't do anything about it. The US are as weak as never before. I think we should play a little tit-for-tat game, as the US can't afford it. I will show you that we have much more leverage than we need in this game. My idea is simple. The US have interests. We have interests too. And as it happens to be our interests, will hurt the US. Let's just block Google for all European networks. I know, this sounds crazy. But taking an almost monopolist of the market will create a new market for European companies. It will create jobs on a level as we have not seen it for decades. You will see the US will rush to the table as soon as the EU imposes such a blockade. But we won't take back the Google blockade. Nope. 
Instead, we will tell the US that we will block Facebook and Microsoft as well, if they dare to ever impose sanctions like the one for Nord Stream 2 against Europe again. Of course, the US will cry foul play! But they did something like that to Huawei themselves, because the company was a threat to Apple. They voluntarily blocked US firms from doing business with Huawei, Google, Microsoft and every chip maker and those chip makers using machines designed in the US. The US did not only try to stop Huawei selling their products, no, no. They even tried it to stop producing them. If Europe acted like the way I described, it is just how you treat a bully. And it is well deserved. America's software service industry is all the US really have. They can't afford to lose it. And yes, I know what I'm asking to do. I know that, for example, your Android phone will be dead in the water if there are no Google services. But such things don't happen overnight. There will be an interim phase of, say, 18 months before the line is cut. Manufacturers in China, Korea and India already have viable solutions. And people will use and buy them if their dependency on Google services is broken. You think you can't live without Google? Think again, a billion people in China can. They have their own software champions. Why can't we? The US is not a lame duck that will be reborn in January. It is a deeply divided country where the one side will drag down the other side into a long winding descent. It is inevitable. The time of the US is over. They just don't know it yet. We in Europe don't need to accept their antics anymore. And if you believe we need the US to protect us from Russia, you should adjust your expectations. That kind of diplomacy that we got from US, we can have from Russia as well. I can't really see a difference anymore. See you tomorrow.